Pokemon This Gym of Mine is a fan game where only the best of the best can become gym leaders. And today, that would be me. Professor Oak does say the city will expect a lot from me and that I will inspire blah blah blah. No Oak, I only took this job for a paycheck and to flaunt my power. No one will get past me. Who do you think I am, Erica? Wrong. I'm Jules, the new Electro-type gym leader. I'm realizing now that my name actually goes really well with my favorite typing. Huh. I swear that was an accident when I created this channel. Anyways, yeah, in this game, we can become a gym leader and it's essentially our full-time job. But just because it's our 9 to 5 doesn't mean I'm going to be lazy. I mean, it is Pokemon battling after all. I'll try my hardest against aspiring trainers. Now, first things first, we got to choose our typing. You can choose from all of the typings, of course, and they even have the fairy typing. But like I said, we're choosing Electric. I'll be better than the likes of Lieutenant Surge or Elisa. Although Elisa was pretty difficult for me as a child, so I don't know about that one. Oh, Electric is in the middle. They must know what the best typing truly is. So we get the option of three Electric types, Pichu, Shinx, or Joltik. Now, all of these are good options, but I just love Joltik. I mean, if Mareep wasn't a thing, it would be my favorite Electric type. So we choose Joltik and name him Electro. It looks like this is the mayor of Umball, that is Umball City, where we'll be taking over as the Electric Gym Leader. Wait, wait, hold on, Dalton. I didn't agree to take on no gangs. I just applied for the leader position. Yes, yes, of course, Jules, don't worry. So, uh, yeah, what happened to the previous gym leader? Oh, oh, he just didn't want to be a gym leader anymore. Somehow, I think you're lying to me. You know, I know I'm new around here, kid, but you made a big mistake taking on the greatest gym leader to ever exist. Finally, a region where there's some boundaries. I can't just walk in willy-nilly into people's homes without permission. Well, it looks like most of Umball City is still under construction, so there's really only one thing to do, and that's to go meet the mayor at our new gym. My man doesn't have running shoes. He's got gliding shoes. Oh wow, our TM for the gym is Thunderbolt. That seems a little excessive for the first coming fights, but at least I can teach that to Joltake. Oh, so this guy is part of that gang. Wait, why would you even want the potions? Who heals in battle? You loser. You gonna run me out of town? Nah, you're going down, bucko. Oh wow, he actually did use a potion in battle. I love how Joltik just destroys this biker. You guys know how small Joltik is? It's tiny and it's just demolishing him. After that annoying gang member, Dalton here tells us that we can only use Electro-type, except for two that can have a different type. The only catch is they have to have an Electro-type move. He also tells us that the city needs to like us or basically I'm out of a job. And if you lose too many battles, the same thing will happen. Listen, man, I got a Joltik to support. Seems kind of unfair to boot me if people don't like me. That's final, Jules. The benefits better be good, Dalton. Now, along with all that, I get to hire some help for the gym. So I called up a guy and he said he'd be here tomorrow. So the next day arrives and Dalton brings these two youngsters. I mean, I'm not too fond of them, but I guess I'll be nice for now, just from a reputation. But you know what I am fond of? Ewin Racing. This video is sponsored by Ewin Gaming. It's an online gaming chair company that sells chairs, specifically gaming ones. Ewin has been in the scene for quite a while and they have some of the highest quality chairs I've ever tried out. Like I've been saying, they sent me this chair right here and I've never really had a chair quite like this. This thing is awesome to sit in for hours of gameplay and hours of editing. So while I was sitting on my throne, taking on all these gym challengers, I was comfy sitting in my chair, just throwing out my electric type Pokemon. It's probably the most comfortable chair I've ever had. I chose the gray version, but you can choose whatever color you like on their site. They have tons of colors and materials to choose from. And they have different chairs for all different types of people. One of my favorite things about this chair is their back pillow. And I won't get tired of saying it. This thing is up. Amazing. Usually I have a problem slouching in chairs, but it actually arches my back so I sit up somewhat straight. Nobody can fix your posture except you, but it does a good job. They also have this head pillow, but if you don't want it, you could just not put it on. I fit in the chair pretty comfortably with a lot of leg room so I can move my legs around and it's so big that I can sit crisscross applesauce while I game. That is totally bad for my knees, but it's how I game. This chair also has movable armrests, and not only can you move them forward and back, you can move them side to side, as well as moving them up and down. They're pretty big armrests, and they don't feel like they get in the way, so you won't really feel a need to take them off. It also feels like this rubber instead of like plastic on most gaming chairs, so that's a big plus. Building the chair was very straightforward. There's pretty much no way you could mess it up, and it only took me about 15 minutes. And while I was waiting for new gym challengers in this video, I just sat back and relaxed. And if that's not enough angle for you, it goes all the way back here. The wheels on this chair glide very smoothly and the base is actually made out of metal instead of plastic, which I had in my old gaming chair. It's also pretty simple to raise the chair and lower the chair with this lever to adjust it to whatever height you want. If you have butt aches for gaming 12 hours a day, 
trust me, that's not an issue with this chair. I feel like I'm sitting on a cloud. Honestly, the build quality of the chair is just really high quality. So you definitely are getting what you pay for. And if you use code Jules at checkout, you can get an extra 20% off. Thanks Ewin for sponsoring this video and thank you Ewin for my chair. Go buy the chair. Oh my God, they're actually little brats. They started talking all this shit once Dalton left. I'm in charge here, you brats. You mess up and you're out. Hey, that's the guy I called. All right, all right, tone the energy down a bit. We don't want to scare new challengers now. And we do need to go catch at least two more electric types. So I start looking in nearby places. Oh, this is perfect. A Tynomo is great since it has the ability to levitate. I named her Watson. I did find a Stunfisk. So there are some interesting encounters for a first gym leader for trainers. I like it. I named this one Kaminari. I also found an Ella kid and named her Azula. With these four, I think it's time to finally get down to it and open the gym, which by the way, I can open at any time and close at any time. At least the hours are flexible. Now I can only bring in three, so I left Azula behind and our first challenger is this kid. He's been roughing it for 15 days, he says. And to that I say, I've been roughing it my whole life, kid. Wait a second, there's different forms in this game. Oh, we need that chin chow for the gym. It does look like it's a dark type, but Electro being a bug type easily takes care of that. And of course his fletchling doesn't stand a chance, especially after a critical hit. Goal that wasn't hard, just annoying, and Electro got a clean sweep for our first gym fight. You aren't playing. I told you all I wasn't a pushover like Lieutenant Surge. From there, our first day was super easy. I didn't have to switch out Electro a single time, and just like that, it was 5 p.m. ready to go home. I didn't go straight home though. No, instead I went to the break room to train with our trainers, and once that was done, it was time for some rest. Ugh, not another one. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? On day two, it was going swell until one hiker came in with the most unexpected BS I've ever seen. This Aeron had Dragon Rage and I was terrified. Was this going to be my first loss as a gym leader? Oh, thank God. My reputation was saved. But why can Aeron learn that? Is he part dragon or something? Yeah, he is. There was this little cave near the city that I had to solve some riddles in. So once I did that, this chick gave me a Chikorita and this guy offered to join the gym. He looks like he trains hard, so I totally let him join. Better than those two twerps. Hey, I actually fought this guy in the wild. You want a job, kid? I mean, he's just like me. This is something I would totally say. After fighting some more trainers, we came across Elizabeth, which I suppose is supposed to be us if we weren't a gym leader. She's very confident, so of course I have to crush her spirit right now before making her think she could ever become a champion. But first, I checked my mailbox. Hmm, a painter wants to join. We could use the rep points. Nah, crush girl Kim? Now that sounds like a trainer. Now I was actually scared for Elizabeth since I thought she was going to be strong, but nope, Electro is just too high of a level for anyone to stand in the way of the little bugger. Now, luckily we did have some trainers that came in that were a high level so that Kaminari could level up a lot. And after a long day, we got to see our new recruits. Hey guys, huh, I wonder what happened to those two twerps. Anyways, one day the trainers that were coming in rose in level by a lot and I almost lost my first battle, but thankfully I did manage to pull through for the win. And since we got rewarded with rank two, this means that I need to start training even more than I already have. I may have spoken too soon though, as this pack of goons destroyed me with their level 20s. I mean, I was caught so hard with my pants down. Imagine the whole city just being like, oh, no worries. The new gym leader will take care of this. And then boom, just utterly destroyed my poor reputation. I love Tynabo, but it's just not not good right now. And I did end up finding a Magnemite, which is an amazing encounter. This guy also lets us enter the commercial district, which will let us build new buildings. And it looks like I have to build them with my own money. That doesn't seem fair, but hey, maybe these buildings will bring in money. And that could totally explain why gym leaders are so rich and why they help so much. I mean, if you're bringing in this much dough, this also gives us access to the mall, which will let us buy a whole bunch of items. You know, if, if I could afford to spend any, I mean, I got rent to pay. And a Violate will be useful though. Ah oh, man, screw rent. Let's invest in a building and hope by tomorrow, I 100x my investment. I did end up finding a Gumi, and this is great as Gudra can learn Thunderbolt. I named him Storm, and then I found a Dedene who I named Thor. With this, I kept up with the gym, and eventually this bug catcher Bill scared me with his fully evolved bugs, and they were a higher level than me at the time. You can't beat a stun fist though. He's got way too much swag. This guy also offered me money for a gym badge, and I was late on rent, so you know damn well I gave him a badge under the table for some polka dollars. And it looks like our gym guy has a girl who keeps coming in to see him. Dog, I'll let you borrow my crib if you can get her number. After taking on a bunch more trainers, we finally got decimated by an aroma lady of all things. I think she put some fragrance on, not but for real. She had a Florgus, and of course my Pokemon are just not going to keep up at all with these levels just going up like that out of nowhere. Speaking of out of nowhere, I was heading home from that awful shift and a group of thugs knocked on my door. They ended up kidnapping me and throwing me in a cave. I should really invest in a police station for these imbeciles. Oh, hey, wait, I got the police's number. I shouldn't call this number 
unless it's necessary. Um, it's kind of necessary right now, game. My gym guy was of no use either, just yapping his mouth. Kind of think of it, he's probably at my crib right now with the girl he was talking to. Good help is so hard to find these days. And of course, the mayor says one thing and hangs up. I bet that guy's with the ladies right now too. Well, let's just try to talk to this lady keeping me here. Hey, can I leave? No. Wait, is that a big nugget? Uh, yeah. Hmm. Hand it over and I'll slip you out of here. How about it? Sure. Seriously, I was going to sell that thing. What would have happened if I did sell it? Would I have been stuck here forever? Jules, you escaped. Yeah, no thanks to you two. What do you mean you got the whole city to look for me? I called. Both of you. Oh, of course, their gym leader is an Edgar. Even got the Edgar cut. After all that funny business, we ranked up to rank three, which means now we get a paid vacation and we have to carry six Pokemon into the gym now. We also now have this girl who lets us train with her team of Blissies, so we don't have to grind so hard on random wild Pokemon. Ah, the perks of being a gym leader. She also let me know that I should be level 30 before entering the gym, which is totally fine as I'm level 35. Those kids won't know what hit them. It's funny that I can actually start my day off in the middle of the night, but hey, we got some night dwellers still. This led to Electro finally evolving into this beauty. It's so cute. How a spider can be this cute, I have no idea. And directly after this, Edgar was back again, but this time he wanted all the smoke, so he sent me a letter to meet him in the chamber chambers in the Badlands. I did have the option to call the police, and you bet I did because I'm a straight p- Speaking of which, I totally am, as I totally would have folded if I could against this random trainer on the way to Edgar. Level 70 T-Tar? Why? So once we get to Edgar, he says it's all or nothing. Either we beat him now, or he's going to take over, and I was super confident considering all of his grunts were in the 30s, but homie has a level 45 Agron to start the fight. Turn 1, I did set up a sticky web as he went for a big icicle crash. Fearing another one, I went into static shock. He didn't go for it again, but instead a dragon move, so that worked out. From here, we did whittle him down and wasted his potion before Static Shock got taken out. And then Azula came out. A low kick did way less than I imagined, but at least he missed a head smash, meaning it's all over for Aggron. Another potion? You cheapo! Well, anyways, we did end up taking it out after taking a big icicle crash. But then Garchomp came out. Okay, there's no way we're winning this fight, but at least Sticky Webs is doing its thing. And Static popped right when Azula went down. This let us get one Weasley Dragon Pulse off with Storm before dying. We basically wiped right there, but how was I supposed to know? Also, it's funny because it just says it's game over and takes me to the title screen, which sucks as I just lost all my progress and went back to my last save point. The good news is while training, we were finally able to evolve Watson and then buy a Thunderstone to get it fully evolved into Electros. This is huge as Levitate should help us with Garchomp. Also, apparently Magnezone evolves with a Thunderstone in this game, but I thought it was a Metal Coat. I don't know why. I do assume Azula will evolve with Electrizer, but we'll see. This time around, Edgar was much better as Kaminari wasted all of his potions, guaranteed, and was able to static Garchomp. This is awesome as Thor can outspeed and play rough actually wasn't a one-shot, and he got paralyzed. Thank God for Kaminari. As for Metagross, I Volt switched into Electro on a big hit. We do have Sucker Punch though, which does a chunk, and Meteor Mash didn't actually KO Electro. After that, Static Shock destroyed it with a Thunderbolt. The three-headed dragon did scare me, so I paralyzed it, and again, Thor can take down another dragon with play rough. Look how tiny he is compared to these beasts. I did play rough T-Tar as well, and it did half, and he KO'd us, but it's totally fine. A single low kick KO'd it from where it was at, and Salamence is out. Dude, this guy is carrying every pseudo imaginable. I'm down to only Watson, and thankfully there is a para on him, but he did full heal. But guess what? Watson ended up getting another para with her Thunderbolt. Of course, this didn't matter as he still outsped it and went for Aerial Ace, but still. Anyways, we did come out on top this time with no game over. Hey, that's not an Edgar cut. After that long gym fight, we rest up, and now we're ranked 4 as a gym. Gym leader. From here we spent our days taking all sorts of trainers and grinding our levels up. Most of these were pretty easy as we were a high level thanks to Edgar, and we did add some new people to help out with the gym. All these gym battles also got me some money, so I'm hoping to expand the town a bit. Eventually the levels did spike once again to the 50s, but what's worse is this hiker must have been training to take me on, cause now he's level 99. <laughs> what, 100 was too cool for you? Like, of course you're just gonna win here. Well, I guess I can't keep all these badges for myself. In fact, I'm sure the Pokemon League would flag me, considering I'm not letting a single person win and trying my all. I also ended up giving a badge to some girl with an Eevee, and I think her Eevee was holding in a Violite because no way Eevee is that tanky. Another badge is gone. With that, we ended the day very gloomy, but the next day I went to buy some workers to build a museum and a Neo building, and I really wish we could go inside these instead of them just being empty shells that I can't do anything with. After some more training with those Blissies, we finally got Electivire at level 50, and now we're really starting to take shape as an Electro-type gym leader. Of course, I say this, and my first fight the next day goes horrible. This last has a Clefable, and it's her first Pokemon. She sets up with Cosmic Power, and on top of that, she has Moonlight, so she was just healing the entire time. She wiped my entire team, and it completely 
completely destroyed my gym spirit. At this point, I want to quit. But then she says, come on, you could do better than that. You twerp. You're damn right I'm going to do better than that. I, in fact, did not do better than that. Painter Lady destroyed me again with her Eevees. Oh, they're just so tanky. Now, I did beat her immediately after since she decided to fight me twice, even though she already had a badge. I don't know, maybe the old man from earlier paid her to get him a badge. This made me look into new Pokemon, and I remembered that Aggron could learn Thunderbolt, but what's even crazier is when I evolved Aeron into Laron, it learned it naturally, which was nice. Also, this is a dragon type in this game, and since I can't figure out how to get Gudra, this will do fine. I did go exploring past the Badlands, where the gang members are, and I came across this place. This guy tells me it's an alternate timeline where the gang members never inhabited this place, and the Pokemon here became super strong. But I can't seem to find a single one. I did, however, go all the way back to when we got to this region, and used a Super Rod to find this regional Chinchow. And then I realized I had no Pokeballs. Once we did though, we caught one and named it Dr. Doom. Look at him as Lantern. It's a water dark type, so at least we got more coverage. I spent multiple days taking on gym challenges, building my reputation, but we weren't progressing, so I decided to take a vacation to the Bahamas. I need a whole four days to relax. Will I be taking the crew with me? Hell no. This is my personal vacation. But but hey, bring, bring along the gym guy. He's cool. Is that Lieutenant Surge? Nah, you are everything I don't want to be in a gym leader. Okay, what kind of sick joke is this that I can't grab the Pokeball? This island did have some cool Pokemon, like this regional Magby. We also found Voltor, but that's just meh. But you know what's not meh? A Lolan Geo dude. I had no idea this was even here. And we also have this dope Luxio. Okay, now we are seriously becoming an amazing electric type gym leader. This was just supposed to be a vacation. I didn't think I'd actually benefit from this. Oh wow, it's a flying type. I actually thought it was a water type thanks to the fin, but I guess it's a fan. Well, it looks like my entire vacation is just ruined to this horrible rain. So I took another vacation, but this time with the entire staff, but only for a day since I'm a cheapskate. Grant greets us and he's a fellow gym leader, but the real reason I came here wasn't so that the staff thinks I care about them. Oh no, it's to find more electro types. They also seem to have this TM shop, which we are in high need of to keep up with these junksters. I also bought a bunch of citrus berries as they are dirt cheap. Uh, what are these two doing in this abandoned building? Yeah, but yeah, pretend I didn't see anything. This place is amazing. They even have ability capsules. Another cool thing about this city is you can encounter Pokemon in the streets, and this is great as we can find Ralts. And Ralts happens to have two new forms in these games that are our electric types. Honestly, this was more of a work trip than a vacation. Once we got home, we evolved Zeus into Luxray, Flash into Gallade, and Jane Foster into Gardevoir. These two are so sassy. So I rearranged the team a bit, and here they are in all of their glory. A lot of regional variants, but hey, they all look amazing. Although I have no idea how to evolve Graveler yet, so Miles is going to be holding in a Violite. The next day, it was time to test my new team, as there was a commotion outside, and it turns out that Champion was in town. His name was Garrison, and he actually came to see me to test us. He gave us potions for this unexpected arrival, but we don't use those, so what the hell, Garrison? Now, Smeltex was not playing around. I had to switch into Rambo, as Electro was in the front, and since he uses potions, she couldn't hold up. However, I have Flash now, and Flash is very powerful with high jump kick. So one of those, and that's out of here. So is Bisharp, Cherum, Gengar, Zorark, and Haxorus. And just from beating this chump, the respect I'm going to get in town, no, the whole region, is going to be immense. With that, we are now rank 5. And the next day, we got a letter from some random person telling us to meet him in the gym. He says he needs to see what kind of gym leader I am, but if he was outside yesterday, he'd see what kind of gym leader I am. I swear all these idiots run Eviola Eevee. No match for the Flash, though. So we beat him, and Sandy walks in. I was wondering where she's been at. And since she says he better have a good reason for being here, I figured this guy is the old gym leader. Apparently someone told him to get out of town or everyone he loved would get hurt. I mean, like, if you were a real gym leader, you'd probably just stay and fight, you wuss. Your sister deserves better, Jason. He came here to warn me, but trust me, I don't need it, pal. Also, just from that interaction alone, I ranked up to level 6. That was fast. And rank 7 was a day later, but with that rank came a letter for me to seize all of my operations and step down as gym leader. And to that I say, no way. I'm destined to be the best electric type gym leader in all the land, and no one's going to stop me. But in turn, not stepping down, the gang members took my gym trainers captive. But I mean, to be honest, I didn't really care about them. Don't tell them I said that. If it wasn't for me losing my job, I'd probably just replace them easy. So I head to the Badlands, and Edgar is waiting outside his hideout, or I guess it was his hideout. Apparently the mayor is behind all of this, and employed the riders to make me step down as gym leader. What a scumbag that old hag is. I never thought I'd team up with Edgar, but fine, let's do this. Oh shit, Edgar just got slapped. Dalton tells us that he did all of this because the people look up to gym leaders way more than actual elected officials. Well, I wonder why, Dalton. I mean, you literally took kids as hostages. This is what's wrong with you people. So we challenged Dalton to a battle, and to be honest, this game is weird because the gym trainers were level 55, but he's lower than that, and I feel like 
like leveling up to level 60, which is something I needed to do. Despite me saying this though, Dalton did come close to destroying my entire team. By the end of it, I only had two Pokemon left, but Zeus did end this bald man's life easy. With that, the Rogue Riders pledged their loyalty to Edgar once again, which if I was Edgar, I wouldn't even accept them. I mean, they literally did this for a bag. The check cleared and left him. What's stopping them from doing that again? Anyways, if anyone questions my strength as a gym leader again, I'm definitely stepping down. I mean, how many times do I have to prove myself to this town? Once we got home, we got a call from the Pokemon League, and man, it's about time they called, but then again, I mean, why would they call? Dalton staged the whole thing. The police was staged. All the phone numbers he gave me were false. So, you know what, you know, it kind of makes sense why the Pokemon League never called me. But I mean, you'd think they'd want to, I don't know, do a test before they hire me as a gym leader. I, I don't know, the whole thing's weird. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much the game. I do wish there was more to it, like a longer, more intricate story or more to do with the buildings in the town. I mean, you can't even enter any of the buildings. So I feel like that portion of the game is just very lacking. Other than that, I did like the regional forums and it was pretty fun being on the other side of things. You know, being a gym leader and not a trainer. But man, this stuff is taxing. I'm exhausted. Time for another vacation, this time to Frigid City. It's cold here, but we can at least fight Perma, whose sprite in battle is just Brock. What? This Ninetales actually took a minute just for me to defeat, and in the end, Miles was the one to take it out after almost dying. This floor just also took a long time, but the rest of the team was dealt with with ease. Hey, it's that couple again. Wait, they don't even look like they're wearing the right attire for this weather. You could go forever in this weather? What the heck does she mean by that? Oh god, I'm leaving the city. Now there was only one thing to do. Defeat this dang hiker with this T-Tar. And since I have Flash, two high jump kicks did the trick. Ha! No bad badge for you, sir. Now leave my gym, please. And finally, Miles evolved into this beauty. I loved Alolan Golem when it came back in Gen 7. I mean, just look at that facial hair. Ah, yes. 69 days as a gym leader. I think we've proven ourselves, and I think this is a great day to announce my retirement. It's time to hang up the cape after only two months. I built the best team possible and have heavily surpassed Elisa at this point, which is, you know, who I look up to. So if you guys enjoyed my journey to become the best electric type gym leader ever, then go ahead and subscribe for more, and I will see you all next time. Also, let me know which regional form was your favorite.